American Hustle has just had its world premiere. It's a black comedy set in New Jersey and New York in the 1970s. We were so successful for so long because we kept it just small enough. If you're that successful, how come you wound up in this room with me right now? It tells the story of two con artists, a character called Irving Rosenfeld, played by Christian Bale, sporting a big belly and huge comb-over, and his partner in crime, the sociopathic Sidney Prosser, played by Amy Adams. There's an effervescence in this film, but it's dark. In darkness, we find great comedy and comedic moments, but this character for me was quite, quite dark. She had a strength and sort of a survivor's... Uh, survivor's mentality and, and um, it can be very lonely sometimes because you have to do things at, at all cost. I said we shouldn't do any of it, Irving. You know I said that. Adam's now. character, Sydney, is an imposter. She presents herself as the rather British Lady Edith. She's a woman who means the world to Irving. Sydney is the first person that he is able to really sort of reveal himself uh, uh, to warts and all, and she doesn't run for the hills. She actually stays and he's just head over heels in love with this woman. You keep changing the rules. No, you're getting a little power drunk, Richard. You, know, you want to tell him, Edith? You want to wake him up? Sidney and Irving are coerced into working for an FBI agent played by Bradley Cooper. The story is based on the so-called Abscam FBI sting operation of the late 1970s, which led to the conviction of several prominent politicians. Cooper's FBI agent has big ambitions. Well, he's a very smart guy, uh, actually, because he was able to, to really actually fundamentally change the way the Bureau uh, did some things. And he was able to get Irving Roosevelt and Sidney under his uh, wing, as, as it were. But he's, uh, he suffers from, um, I think, a lack of maybe a male figure in his childhood or something that you know, prevented him from ever growing. Why don't you just marry Carmine, get a little gold microwave and put it on a chain around your neck? Bringing energy and great acting to this ensemble piece is Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Irving's jealous wife a character who has a habit of setting their home on fire. Another fire! Several of the actors in this picture have worked with the film's director, David O. Russell IV. He has put together a piece which chronicles characters preoccupied with getting ahead. That's why it's called American Hustle. Hustling is something uh, that's, that's very American in the sense of it's, uh, it's, it's hastening to do what you have to do to survive. And if that includes reinventing yourself, um, uh, talking yourself into things, talking yourself out of things, uh, dealing with the consequences and picking yourself back up. That all, to me, comes under the category of hustling. I think everyone in this film is sort of a hustler, and David really made sure that we all kind of came at it with a really human, flawed perspective. And I think that we all are so flawed, and we all expose ourselves as uh, our foibles. Uh, you can really relate to that. The director co-wrote the screenplay with screenwriter Eric Singer. Is it making some kind of comment about the American way of operating in business and life? I think so. I think that, you know, that was the original intent. Was America sort of has a very distinct and particular way that, um, you know, we get through life. Um, I think it's what brands us in a way as, as every culture has their own sort of distinct ways of getting through it. Can me and the man talk about business to you? <laughs> All eyes are now on American Hustle's Oscars prospects. Last week it won the prestigious Best Picture Prize from the influential New York Film Critics Circle. And that augurs well for the Academy Awards. But it faces some very tough competition. The film runs long, it loses focus a little, but it fully redeems itself with great acting and its big heart. It's a picture in which David O. Russell has come of age. He's emerged as a master of farce, bringing together complicated, flawed, often hyperactive characters to tell a story of individuals who, like all of us, just want to be loved. <laughs>